Hey guys and dolls, welcome back to Nanny Talks. And if you know that reference, kudos, because Guys and Dolls is actually one of my favorite musicals. Um, anyways, back to um, talking about mental health. So it is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I'm wearing my green ribbon. You can't really see it because it doesn't really contrast well with the blue, but I'm wearing it, and that's what's important. And so I. Sorry, I'm so scared right now. I just mail. I am raising money to um I am raising money to um Okay. Edit that out. Um I have a mental health awareness campaign and I will post it in the down bar below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Feel free to donate or to just look at the video gallery. Um, I put some awesome PSAs and short films in the video video gallery. And if you do decide to donate, which would be absolutely fantastic, um, all the donations would be going towards making the mental health awareness ribbons. I want to make about 500. Last year I made about 100. So I want to make about 500 of these and also go towards um, other mental health awareness stuff such as stickers or pins that you wear in shirt or... Um, stuff like that at all it just depends on how much money is um, you know raised and so more money we raise more money we can um, or the more stuff that we can get for um, the mental health awareness month and so I strongly encourage you guys to start your own campaign sometime um, even if you're just doing it in like your community um, as far as um, handing out the mental health awareness ribbons and talking to people about it, I feel like it's really, really important. I wasn't that um, aware <laughs> mentally health-wise. Don't know if I made any sense. But you know, you hear about breast cancer awareness, you hear about uh, lymph lymphoma awareness, you hear about heart disease awareness, HIV awareness, or AIDS awareness. Um, but mental health is all... You know, in that realm, it matters too. So, um, most definitely want to get it out there. You can wear these on your shirts, on your backpacks or purses, um, on your tie, I guess if you want. Um, so, it's just so amazing to see how much people do care. Last year when I did this, I handed out tons of ribbons and brochures, and people still have them. And that means a lot to know that all my energy, my money, have have gone to something like important to where people are still it there's it, it's still helpful to them to this day um but i'm going to share a little bit about my story and why mental health awareness month is so important to me or just talking about mental health is so important to me um number one one in four people suffer from a mental illness so that could be practically anyone and you don't know who's suffering i mean yeah they have these mental illness stereotypes, but honestly, you know, it could be someone who's your co-worker, it could be your neighbor, it could be possibly your best friend. You you never really know. Um, and a lot of people are ashamed of it, and that's what I want to kind of combat. I don't want people to feel as ashamed of it. I don't want them to feel the need to hide it necessarily. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't put your business all out there, of course, if you don't want to, but you know, just knowing that, okay, why is it okay for people to talk about, you know, breast cancer or different different um, cancers, you know? But when it's about mental illness, people kind of back up and they kind of look at you and you don't want to think they're judging you, but you kind of know that they are. And we all kind of probably had those experiences um, one time or another, you know, when you're like, I have depression, I have OCD or I have bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or borderline personality disorder people kind of give you that look and they kind of take a step back and you know like so that's what i'm hoping to change and i feel like by talking about it more we all as a community will be able to accept it more and not be so prejudiced towards um mental illness because we fear what we don't understand right so Let's all come together as a team, as a community, support Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, also, I have been suffering 
from anxiety and depression since I was probably five, four, three years old. I can't even remember. Um, but I do remember a lot um, feeling nervous for no reason or, or having anxiety that wasn't like proportion to like whatever was going on like I would be afraid to um, get up and sharpen my pencil more part of my social anxiety or I would get um, like if I was working on the computer lab at school I remember doing this like kindergarten and when they were kind of ahead of me and I couldn't figure out what was going on the computer I would almost like get in tears because it just I don't know it wasn't also just like emotional or mentally but it was like physiological for me so sometimes when I was really really tired or I couldn't focus or it's just really stressed or I didn't feel well that was kind of one of my ways of when I was younger kind of getting it out it was by crying or was by um, kind of maybe displacing my my emotions on others um, or projecting them so honestly it's it's all up to you it's it's what you make it um, but I really do hope that you support Mental Health Awareness Month some way, whether that be um, walking, they have the walks, um, whether that be um, just wearing a ribbon or even talking about it, just saying, hey, you know what, let's talk about it, let's have a discussion about it, you know? And it doesn't have to be with someone who has a mental illness. You can just say, hey, you know what, it's Mental Health Awareness Month and I found some tips that maybe can help us all improve our mental health sleeping better, eating better, talking about how we feel, using our coping skills, you know? And when we get angry or when we get sad, not turn to food or not turn to alcohol or not turn to sex or shopping, you know? We all have brain, therefore we all have mental health. So no one can say, oh, I don't fit in that category. We all have mental health. If you have a brain, which I'm pretty sure you do, then, you know, we all have mental processes, we all have emotions and behaviors that can affect those emotions. So let's just stand together and support Mental Health Awareness Month. And But I am also doing a Mental Health Awareness Month film. Um, maybe scratch the month part. I don't know if it'll be done in May. But it's going to be on anxiety disorders. And there's three main characters, Josh, Nick, and Jamie, I believe if I remember correctly. And um I think Nick Nick has O C D, Jamie has social anxiety, and Josh has panic attacks. And um it, they're just high school students kind of going about their daily lives and you kind of really get to see through the lens of how these anxiety disorders affect them. And I'm in that adolescent range. I'm 17 years old. So, you know, I, I really want to show what it's like because a lot, I know a lot, a lot of adolescents and kids and even young adults suffer from, you know, um, mental health problems such as depression and anxiety, you know. So, my clap of yours. Take two. Hello. So, yeah, I'm starting my own first film. Ah, okay, um, but... I'll let you know. I'll upload it when it's fully complete, which hopefully it will be by June. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and please support um, Mental Health Awareness Month. Like I said, my campaign um, URL is in the down bar below. Or just comment um, your similar experiences or what you're doing to support Mental Health Awareness Month. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye everyone.